Hey everybody, so day hike today. Hope you enjoyed some of the scenery there. I had another thing, I was gonna sit and cook. So it's a hike and cook because I really wanted to try something. I had some ideas with regards to like cooking food while I'm out camping and everything and situations that I would need to be able to replicate that wouldn't be that hard. Um, so what I'm doing is um, try, I'm going to try a version of a, um, what was usually called a, where I grew up was called the Canadian candle. There are multiple ways to do this. So I, uh, I got some fixings for, uh, steak tacos. So we're going to make some steak tacos. Um, and hopefully, um, this fire thing is going to work out. And, and if it doesn't, then I'll just build a, a regular, you know, garden variety fire. <laughs> So um, so let's get started, I'll show you what I got. All right, so I picked up this log. I actually picked up two of them. There was a test I wanted to do, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, because it because the test requires a long period of time. Um, but I had this log here, and you can see I got the drill with me. Um, what I plan on doing is, is I got this paddle wheel bit, which should be just about big enough for that head of that thing there. Uh, I'm gonna put a little hole in the base of this thing right here. And I'm going to drill down and then I'm going to drill another hole and into the side um, and then uh... that'll give us the rocket stove situation that we're looking for that makes a Canadian candle work. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole down through the middle of this thing here as best I can through the middle. I'm gonna find looks to be about the center on that. before you fucking take it.
centro. Battery's dead. <clears throat> Battery's the bane of my existence. All right. Well, today didn't end up exactly as I planned. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the clips in the beginning so that, that way you can see. Uh, I had something else planned and uh, I did not anticipate that being winter and the log that I had being as fresh as it was it's going to be so hard to do what it was I planned on doing with it so I'm going to have to save that for another day but I planned on doing anything but it's late and uh so I'm going to get this fire started and then I'll get back and we'll I'll get you I'll get you tuned up as to where we're at and what's going on So I've stopped at one of the local pavilions inside the park. Camera set up, breaking the rules. I know you love it. It's what you come to me for. I'm a rule breaker. Um, I mean, nothing major, you know what I mean? Stupid stuff. But in any event, um, I've came to this, to the park in question. Um, where I am a continual and constant annoyance to at least one of the staff. I mean, I know a lot of the, I mean, don't know them, know them, but I mean, I know them to see them, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of the people that uh, I have talked to here um, who work here, save the one individual who accosted me that one time in that one video um everybody else is you know pretty down for the you know whole me doing videos thing that works here so you know that guy just i don't know what his deal was but i don't care it doesn't matter to me last week um i kind of did what i refer to as the scramble in camp and i kind of you know, because I'd gotten done work a little late and, you know, had some other things that needed to be taken care of. Um, I uh, didn't get really out as quickly as I could. Um, for everybody who watched last week's video and, you know, commented, I very much appreciate it. Um, your comments were appreciated very much. And I really appreciate the support that all of you have given me. Uh, in my endeavor to do, uh, you know, in, in my starting this channel and, and, uh, and, I, and I hope to like, you know, continue doing it and, and, and have a lot more uh, interesting things for you to watch. Uh, so, but uh, with all that said, last week was kind of rough on me. Um,
In my trudging around in the ice and the snow last week, I kind of pulled a little muscle in my back. And if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that this is something that, uh, not the first time I've done it. Uh, but uh, I am not really one to uh, allow, um, to allow injuries to slow me down, hold me back, do whatever. I uh, very, um, I, I had like an accident like uh, several years ago where it shattered all the bones in my wrist and from the uh, emergency room table I basically looked at the doctor and said, can't you put a, you know, like a pack of ice on it and you know, it's sprained or something. He's like, no, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's going to need surgery. So, but that's me all over. So I wasn't going to quit. I tried to do that other thing, the, the, the wood that I, that I went out and got, um, did not cooperate with me because it was not completely dry. It was something that apparently the, the wood uh, supplier guy that I got it from, Lewis, thank you, Lewis, um, he just did what I asked him to. I, I need something like that. Could you like cut that size around and that length in half and that'll be perfect? And he's like, yeah. And so he did. I asked, and then I got that thing out here, and then, well, wouldn't you know it? It really, um, <laughs> probably needed to dry out more. It was probably still So, I'm going to do that on another day. I got some uh, some stuff for steak uh, tacos. So I got some tortillas and I got some steak and I got some salsa and, uh, and uh, we're gonna make some tacos. So stick around for just a second uh, while I go and get the frying pan. Yeah. Okay. Just saw the park ranger guy rush by so I don't think he saw me so we're gonna like season these guys up slice these up and I've been getting comments and I don't want anyone to think I mean I do answer most all of my comments um, anyways but I have been getting comments about uh, <laughs> about the fact that I continually forget condiments uh, you know like you're eating brats, you should have mustard. Mm -hmm. um, I don't disagree. Um, I just, uh, I have, um, well, I mean, you know, I've been kind of rushing, and so when I kind of rush, sometimes I forget stuff, like condiments. <laughs> so, it's not that I'm against them or I have any like particular problem with them. I just forget when I get rushing. I go, okay, what do I need? Do I have this? Do I have that? Do I have my wiffle ball back? Okay. And I try to do my best to remember everything, but you know, the best laid plans and all that. So, nine times out of 10, it's the same routine because I work so much. 
Uh, it's usually me at, uh, you know, go time. And I stop by the store and they go, what am I gonna get? I think it'd be cool if I did this because we sell those at work. I can talk about it. <laughs> and, uh, and I go by the store and I grab some steak or I grab some using Drews and Duali's and I, uh, you know, I end up uh, scrambling out into the woods and then realizing when I get there and I get the Anduali completed that uh, I forgot the mustard. Damn. Okay. So. But let's see here. I'm going to put a little bit of this is uh, sea salt, sea salt grinder. I'm gonna grind a little bit of that in there to season those guys, get them nice and seasoned. I also, because I had the um, the kit with me, mm -mm, wrong wrong side. Open the wrong side. Okay, so I have the the kit with me, and, and inside the kit it has this stuff here, which this is Montreal steak. So I'm gonna put some of that on there. I've already put some, uh, I have some avocado oil. I like avocado oil because it has a very high smoke point, which means it doesn't burn. It doesn't like, you know, like ruin whatever. And for all you of you people that were afraid I was going to forget the condiments, condiments. However, I did forget the sour cream. So, but I have some taco blend cheese and I have some mango pineapple salsa so this is good stuff and obviously gotta have the limes cannot make tacos without the moons and can't make them without these either el milagro this is the best the best of the best so i also brought the comal so i can warm up my tacos and i brought the mid-range skillets so that I can put those up. So um, so we're gonna go and check on the fire and make sure that that is doing what it's supposed to do. Playing its role, so to speak. Okay, so I got two beers um, to try because I have a, eh, you don't know, cause you don't live with me, but my son knows I have, this kick now that I'm on it, everything's mango. I've got mango, like, uh, mango habanero, uh, hot sauce, mango habanero, like s seasoning for like steaks or for pork or whatever, when you're making something. And of course, also mango in the beer. So this one here is like currently like it's kind of my favorite. This was my favorite. And, and this has been, I've had this before on the channel. Um, but I have never done a side-by-side -side comparison taste test. Now I'm not gonna like open both of them and you know, side-by-side -side it. But what I will do is in the editing portion of everything, what I will do is I will, I will cut it so that that way it almost looks like that's what I did. Um, I wanna taste the one and and then when I'm done with the one that is now currently my favorite, which is like not the popular one, the Modelo is the popular one, the Estrella, Estrella Jalisco, I believe that's how that's pronounced, if you speak Spanish. Um, if you want to speak a uh, traditional white guy, Estrella, Estrella Jalesco. So, you know, however you, however you feel, you know most comfortable but i'm gonna try both of these and um now the jalisco uh the estrella jalisco is more of a traditional michelada now a lot of people i know don't know what a michelada is especially maybe the people that watch my channel um i've had um several uh latin girlfriends 
most notably from Mexico, Puerto Rico, um, Colombia. So, um, but um, this is uh, the the Michelada is kind of like the the Mexican answer to the Bloody Mary, if you will. So, it's um, birdies. So, it's uh, kind of along those along those lines. Is what it is. I got company. Let me put this down. Stand by. Oh no, Yogi. It's the Ranger. <laughs> this ought to be good. This dude's been talking a lot of smack. Okay, so, uh, as luck would have it, we just got busted. <laughs> but you were here live. I don't know if you were able to see. You probably saw the truck pull up. But uh, that was the park ranger guy. And uh, he viewed my, viewed my video <laughs> of whatever. And he's like, you know, between you and me, <laughs> he's like, if you'd have just gotten a camping permit it, you and whatever, that guy who, like, you know, came after you, wouldn't have ever been a problem. I'm like, good to know. <laughs> so um, with that said, he's given me like 15 minutes to wrap everything up here to get everything together. So, um, so <laughs> I'm going to uh, basically get this taken care of um, and then uh, get everything wrapped back up and loaded into the car or into the Jeep and uh, and then, uh... hey everybody, it's me. I know, I look different. This is the filter that makes me look, you know, like a Disney character. I thought maybe you'd enjoy it. So anyways, uh, I tried really hard this week to get two videos out. Um, I made my best effort, but you saw what happened on one of them. The other video is coming out on Friday, so 
Stay tuned on Friday. Keep your eyes peeled. I will be having another video out on Friday. That video is for the Stealth Camper Challenge. Uh, I'm sorry, it's for the Stealth Camper Alliance Challenge. Day Tripper in London basically put out the challenge um, after drawing a bunch of them out of a hat to uh, wa a hike two hours north of your home and then find a place to stealth camp and so that's what i did and that was one of them so that took up a little bit of time um so that's coming out on friday and so look forward to that i, I do the best i can with my videos and getting them out but i work a full-time job and basically it's kind of difficult for me to do something every week um and still do my job <laughs> so um, I look forward to seeing you on Friday anyways, so thanks, and, um, and I'll update this video a little bit later, um, and, and complete, you know, what it was I said I was going to do in this one, but, you know, dude, I got busted. <laughs>